Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's eyeshadow look, I am going to be using the Vault. This is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill or however, whatever this is called. This is what I'm going to be using today. And for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using one palette only. And I believe it was Bling Boss, the purple one. But I used several of these shadows to create this eyeshadow look this video is going to be a voiceover if you guys want me to do a video using the other three palettes then give this video a big thumbs up and i will get those out for you sometime this week if not next week and i will see you guys in the next one jumping right into my face i'm going to use the get lit highlighter from morphe this is a product that was sent to me as a free gift with the vault because we had purchased this in vegas a friend of mine had actually gone gotten our vault palettes and the whole thing with them not being good and stuff happened so we got a highlighter this um setting mist and a eyeliner that i'm also going to be using in today's video out of all the things i love the mist the best the highlighter is somewhat um like for everyday use but for today's eyeshadow, I'm going to be using Bling Boss. I'm going to go in with Hush Hush, and I'm going to apply this into my crease. I don't know if this is too fast. I think it might be, but the next clips of me doing my eyeshadow are going to be a little bit slower, just so that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. But here, I'm pretty much just sweeping it in windshield wiper motions from left to right all over my crease, and I just want to make sure that I get this shade everywhere. For the second eyeshadow shade, I'm going to be going in with Rockstar and I'm going to apply this using the exact same brush and I'm going to keep that in the lower part of my crease. I use the same brush just because this shadow is darker than the first one that I used and then I'm going to go back in and add some of the first one and you just work your way around these shadows you guys. They're really good. They're very blendable. So I did decide to do a, I forgot what this look was called, but you kind of just sort of darken in your inner corner and your outer corner. And I'm using the shade Sparks for that. I love the way that this looked. And then I'm going to add a halo. It's a halo look um, where you add a shimmery shade in the middle, which I'm about to show you guys also. And then you just want to go in back and forth, making sure that you're picking up shadow because you are going to blend some of that away as you go. So now that I have the inner and outer corner done, I'm going to go ahead and build a bridge over it using a pencil brush. And with this, I'm just going to sweep some of the shadow from the fr first part to the second part and I'm just going to blend it into my crease just to give me that bridge effect. And if you guys can see here that some of the shadow like already disappeared. So that's what I mean by going back in with the first or like the first brush and deepening it up again. Now for the shimmery shade that I was telling you about, I'm going to be using Bling Bling. And I did spray some Fix Plus on this brush, but honestly, I think that it worked better without it because I had to flip my brush over and that's how I got more pigment. I don't know if these shadows are meant to be wet or not, but I got the best consistency with a dry brush. Just so that you guys know. I'm going to go back in with Sparks, which is a shade that I use in my inner and outer corner, just to deepen it up some more, give me some more like dark uh, like a darker vibe <laughs> because I did blend some of that away because okay. with with bling bling I did sort of drag it out too much so you just go back in with um, sparks and darken it up again Now for the lower lash line, I'm just going to be grabbing the three shades that I used on top, going from lightest to darkest, 
and I'm going to apply that with a small shader brush or a small pencil brush. So what I'm doing here is going to apply my Jet Eyeliner. This is the Morphe Eyeliner and I totally forgot to show you guys but I also applied this blue Maybelline Eyeliner to my waterline and I love the way that it looked. And I'm also going to be applying some false lashes. Because one of you guys told me how come I never apply false lashes. It's because I don't have or I haven't found the perfect lash to add to my look. So if you guys have one, then please let me know which ones you guys like. I don't like anything super like exaggerated as you guys can tell. The ones that I just put on are super natural. But what I'm doing here now is applying a white eyeshadow to my brow bone. For my lips, I'm going to be using a purplish, darkish lip color. And I'm not sure what this is called. I just know that it's from Ulta. Um, I don't have the exact name for it. But if any of you guys want to know, then just ask and I will answer you back in the comments. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said at the very beginning, if you guys want to see me using the other three palettes, then just let me know and I will do that. I'll probably do another video using the green palette tomorrow, yeah. I think, um, because I do want to try it. I have not tried them, so if you guys want me to film it, then just let me know and I'll do that for you guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. La Iglesia says.